Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather on this Saturday. First stop is up in the Sierra. I want to explain what's happening here. Beautiful view early this morning up to Palisades, Tahoe. They've had like 150 inches over the last 10 days. It's been absolutely incredible. So the next round of snow with the next slow snail's pace area of low pressure comes in this afternoon. And it's going to be heavy um, all the way into tomorrow. Uh, we're looking at two or three feet of snow. So that's Palisades, Tahoe. That was the view this morning. It was clouding up at that point. Um, and as far as a season total for Palisades, Tahoe, uh, 539. So 539, I want to take you into the Wasatch. So this is Alta. Um, Alta is at just about 600. So many places in the Sierra are right neck and neck with, with Alta with Snowbird, Bright, and Solitude at this point. I've got pretty heavy snow for the uh, the Wasatch coming as well. So both places are going to receive uh, heavy snow in the forecast. It's just interesting to compare those um, because the, the pattern has been so favorable to both. So my bullet points, three storm systems through 313. One's already moving in now. Um, I've got Bullseyes in California, the Wasatch, and the Tetons for anywhere from one to three feet of snow. I'll show you those numbers coming up. In the northeast, the way things look at this point, the best snow for you is going to happen today. Probably a foot for most of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And then I only have light snow beyond today in the forecast. So today's really the best shot. So your powder day is today and tomorrow if you want to get out there and hit that. All right, let me show you, um, I'm going to take you back here, and I did write a lot about this this morning. My blog, chrystomer.com, three storm systems through 313. Take a look at it. Powerful jet, you can see the setup. So you've got a powerful northern branch, and the low pressure just riding it along, riding right along it. There's even a low that's been stubborn around Hawaii, uh, but that's just a reflection of what the southern branch is doing. So it's also a player. So it's also providing moisture. Uh, slamming it up into California and parts of uh, the Intermountain West as well. So it's definitely a player. Look at the forecast pattern for 313. Kind of benign, really in between action, a little bit of ridging, in fact, across the Intermountain West. But there is activity over the Pacific. You can see there's probably a couple different areas of low pressure waiting to come on shore at that point. So 313 is maybe on the back end of this three-storm pattern. Um, let's, let's look at uh, forecast timing, forecast radar and satellite. So here's Sunday morning, some snow through the interior. Look at the big storm in California, throwing moisture into the interior Rockies um, all the way in 3-7. And then here comes the next storm. Look up to the Pacific Northwest. See the spiral coming in? So there's storm two. Storm one is rolling out through Colorado and away. It's a very slow mover, but here comes the, you can see it, storm number two. That's going to come in and also affect the Pacific Northwest and the West. So I'll play that one more time. Sunday morning. Uh, there's uh, Monday morning at six. Uh, Tuesday morning on the seventh, and then that low starts to move out of California. We'll start to make its move towards Colorado on the ninth. You could already see the next storm spiraling into the Pacific Northwest. So it's definitely an active pattern. Uh, back to the blog, I did break out a couple of totals. Solitude, Utah, uh, you've got some nice snow ahead. And in Kirkwood, look at these numbers in Kirkwood. I mean, it's just incredibly heavy. Two definite, three, two to three definite storm systems there. Um, so take a look at that. Forecast totals from this morning. I'll take these full so you can see them. <clears throat> All right, so three, four through three, six. Two to three feet in the Sierra couple of feet up there in the uh, the Wasatch and 6 to 12 for the Tetons. That's period one. Period two, 3, 7 through 3, 13. Another couple of feet at Tahoe and Shasta. Maybe three feet in Shasta. Another 10 inches for the Wasatch and another foot up there in Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, Teton. So when you really look at it as a whole, the Tetons, period one, let's just say nine in Jackson, 14 in the second period, so two feet. Two feet through the period for Jackson Hole. At Alta, you've got two feet first period, another 10, so you're closing in on three feet. 
In Colorado, you've got uh, eh, some decent snow. Two to six, most places a little heavier over Cameron Pass. A couple specialty maps here. Central to Northern Mountains of Colorado, uh, two to six, two to eight, somewhere around there for the I-70 corridor, and a bit more around a foot for the Northern Mountain zones. Three, four, through three, 13. And like I was saying, in the Wasatch, closing in on three feet for grand totals there for Little Cottonwood, probably a solid two feet to three feet, uh, somewhere in between for Solitude and Brighton, and then about two feet for Deer Valley Park City Canyons. Last stop is the Northeast. Again, most of this snow, 90% of it falls today into tonight, uh, about a foot for most places. And then there's some light additional snow. I outlined it on my blog for Vermont, New Hampshire, and made down the road, but nothing significant. So today is really the day up there. All right, guys, enjoy it. Always appreciate you tuning in here for these uh, mountain weather updates, especially here on the Saturday. Have a great weekend and stay safe. See ya.